It's a cold day today. Everyone's got the winter gear on. We've been in this spot though for two weeks again. It's really nice. We're off. Facilities done, we reversed it back. We're cruising with Steve today. And you might recognize the boat that was moored on us. A lovely couple, Danny and Joe, and we went out to the pub with them and it was really nice. I'm sure you already know and love them, but we'll put their link down below just in case. Hi, Lady Pennybone. We also met up with the canal boat family who were so nice. Given that there's been loads of storms, we're quite lucky today. It's really nice and sunny for once. We're actually only going about a mile and a bit up to the next town over which is Uxbridge but I think we're going to go through the town then more the opposite side where it looks like it's a little bit more like rural so we'll see. We've missed rural, the cities have been fun but looking forward to a nice quiet bit of countryside. Where there's just no one around and it's just <laughs> peace and quiet. Over the bears, bears are loud. I think we've just got one lot to do. Those are some pretty handy notes you've got there, Amy. Thank you. There is a closure on the 29th of January at Lock 88. I think we'll be fine. So far, it looks really nice in Oaksbridge. It feels a little bit more like a, like a normal canal. Everyone just seems really <laughs> smiley and it just feels very calm, but there's like a good amount of boats moving as well. It's nice. be really old because they're registered number 602. For reference, ours is over 500,000. So it's really busy along here and there's a lot of stretches of private moorings as well. So Amy's walked ahead to try and find a spot that's big enough for bears and us. We do actually fit in there but apparently there is a better one up there. So we're going to go have a look. the camera picks it up but that house appears to have one of those really really high pitched alarms to stop children being around and I can hear it which is annoying. Here's the potential spot we've got a maybe noisy road there it's quite loud but we'll see how it goes. A really annoying house alarm over there. Amy thought if we just blast music really loud <laughs> we won't be able to hear the alarm. <laughs> Only just put them in Wes. <laughs> I can tell. So the house alarm turns out is actually quite annoying and the dogs don't like it either and the road is really quite noisy inside. So we're just going to move up just a tiny bit more. I feel like we're just really rubbish at doing short cruises but we're pretty sure that just past the bridges it is actually nice and fieldy and We quiet. wanted to be quite close to Uxbridge um, but it was all private moorings anyway. So this only adds about five minutes more on and it just means that we'll be quiet. Hopefully. So this is the A6? No, I think it's the M40. It's, not, it's an A road. Well, it's a big road. I don't know how some people can just, just they're just all right with it. It is quieter under the bridge. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Oh yes, <laughs> loads of graffiti tags and a sunken boat. That's reassuring. <laughs> I think the towpath has switched sides, but there is actually one 
on either side. There's a fence with loads of razor wire. Looks like it's guarding something quite important. In the very distance, we can just make out a couple of flags flying, but I don't know what they are. Coming up to a lock now, which we didn't expect, and there's definitely no room here. It's all going a bit wrong. Well, it looks like we're going a bit further then. Because unexpectedly, it's really full on this little stretch. And we don't like to pass judgment on people's boats, but I think a lot of them are just like projects and stuff. I don't think there's many people living on them here. But the whole stretch is just full of them. So, we're gonna keep going but now we don't really know where we're going or how far and it was just supposed to be a short cruise and we we're supposed to be spending the day exploring Uxbridge and given that it's a Sunday that probably won't happen now which is a bit of a shame Amy says that it looks like there's moorings above the locks <laughs> fingers crossed at least the weather's good or all right This thing here looks like it's a floating dry dock. It's basically a big barge with a narrowboat on hard standing inside with pumps pumping out the water. And then I'm assuming this is how they can fill it over water and get the boat out. Be cool, I've never seen one like that before. That's some heavy gates. blue sunny skies behind us dark grey clouds above us okay so the plan is to try and moor just here somewhere hopefully it's all fine here we go moment of truth there are some bollards here I don't think you can moor on and it looks nice but does it look too nice trying to get out of that mindset of it's too good to be true because that was mainly a central London and River Thames thing. So we'll see. Okay, this feels much better. The internet's better, it's quieter. There's a couple of boats down there that say it's a really nice spot. It's just a bit of a walk anywhere, which is fine. So yeah, that wasn't too bad. Oh, Heave a sigh of relief and just <laughs> hope that nothing bad happens. I'm pretty sure it's fine. Well, we are moored for the second time today. We moored up on Denham Lock Visitor Moorings. It's much nicer here, much quieter, no annoying little alarm buzzing away. And the road noise is, you can still hear it, but it's nowhere near as loud. It's all good, but it is about three o'clock now. We're about a half an hour walk to Uxbridge. But we're gonna try and go and just see what it's like anyway. A bit tired. Well, we made it. <laughs> Just a brisk 30 minute walk into the town. But now let's go and have a look around. First things first. It's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. But it's really cool. Paralympic Games Equestrian. Oh, well done. If ever we go into a shop with candles, Amy has to smell all of them. That's a nice one. Boy, that's quite a good demonstration, actually. Yeah, you're such a nerd. Everyone, there's a nerd. <laughs> so we've only had a really brief look around Uxbridge. It seems all right. It seems like a pretty standard, sort of fairly big town. So we're quite tired. It's getting a bit dark, and we've got a good half an hour to walk. So we're just going to head home now. Got some chips for the journey, though. <laughs> we hadn't been near McDonald's in ages, so well deserved. So it turns out, as we were walking, 
at a pretty ideal spot right near the town centre has since opened up, <laughs> which is kind of annoying. <laughs> and then uh, the friendly boaters here, they've gone, which is a bit of a shame, but fair enough. But it is a really nice quiet mooring and that is really what we wanted, so... We can hardly hear the road. We can hardly hear the road, so despite everything, we're happy with this spot. Quiet towpath means the pets can come out to mooch again! Right, facing all the grass. We've been in this spot for a couple of days and we're just realising quite how much we've missed a quiet towpath in the middle of nowhere. We've just been sleeping so well, so chilled out, so nice. Can't even see dupes, it's just a little little blob. <laughs> He's so cute because all his little paws are all muddy. They've got leaves all over them. Good for him to stretch his legs. He doesn't like coming out as much anymore and run up and down the boat. So every so often I force him to kind of stretch his legs properly. Pretty standard work day today. So I'm just at work, but it's really nice in spots like this because I can just come out for like a five minute break and just enjoy the quietness and it's nice seeing the pets just relaxed. <laughs> You've been exploring! On my lunch break now, and apparently there is a little visitor centre nearby, so we're going to have a little lunchtime wander. Much nature in ages. Well, we haven't. So nice. Pigeons here, Amy. Oh yeah, it's so strange. Not that far out of London, then. Yeah, that's true. The old London pigeons. <laughs> hmm. I'm not allowed in. Cheeky little sausage. Oh boy! It's the River Mistborn. Thank you. 
brain is just like, what is happening? <laughs> Back in central London because there's a very special event going on this evening that we're going to. Well, we hope so. We don't know much about it yet. We've got our Christmas jumpers on. It is actually quite early, even though you're probably seeing this in the new year. It is early November for us at the moment. We're at the Carnaby Street Christmas light switch on. I think the theme is Carnaby Universe. So it's a free event, it's about four hours, and apparently like some of the shops and various stalls will have little drinks and things that you can get, and it's just like a big social event. And then from there, they just turn on all the Christmas lights. Should be good. Italian bear chocolate which we've actually coincidentally seen on TikTok a bunch because they do this really rich thick it's like London's chocolatiest hot chocolate so we've got to try it here it is it's like got a thick layer on top this is the the triple chocolate one <laughs> they basically just pour it all over your cup as well <laughs> also it's very traditional chocolatiering here and Amy asked for some oat milk first because she's not a huge fan of dark chocolate <laughs> and she was like no it will ruin it I was like please <laughs> and she was like mm, okay <laughs> you were good it's thick <laughs> oh, it's nice though. I'm excited for my oat milk to make it less dark it is quite dark, but it is nice. Here she goes, Amy. <laughs> if the lady spots you, she's gonna be furious. <laughs> DIY my own. See, now you've got a regular. I know. We're going to have to issue an apology video to all Italians after this. You know, job behind the counter, because look at this. You should apply it, Holly. <laughs> I quite like it, as, as intended. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Go on. <laughs> Got to be done. You don't want to waste it. Live it up a bit more now. Looking at some small storage solutions. I just love a little container. Put that on the boat though, that's like an underbed storage suitcase. It's really weird because you basically go out into the streets where it feels like a fairly relaxed party. But all the shops lining the street are still open. So yeah, it's a late night shopping event. Yeah, it's just weird that you can just come in and be like, oh yes, I'll get myself a new tube. <laughs> the candles have cloches. <sighs> Did it smell like... The tree. Yes. Do you like it? <laughs> it smells a bit sparry. This posh. This shop isn't that posh, right? I can't smell it. Oh, it actually just smells like smoke. We've got enough of that. Oh yeah, that just smells like all my clothes. <laughs> Getting some winter candles. We do love a winter candle when we got the stove on. Definitely very cozy on the boat. Is that a new bag for carrying the shopping bag from Tesco? <laughs> I think it would fare well on the towpaths. <laughs> 
£395,250. Quickly put it down. And guess the price of the thing. I'm going to guess £413. Everyone, put your guesses in. £645. Ooh. Ooh. Worth every penny. Novelty classes. <laughs> it's Christmas, Christmas time. time. <laughs> it's actually quite a cool shop. It's called Liberty. It's very fancy, but it's a grade two listed building. Now we've got a stamp. We've been stamped. We think there might be a free drink at the end. <laughs> we don't really know. But just we saw a queue and being British we joined <laughs> it. But it's given out free drinks, yeah, one per person, and it does actually have alcohol free. It's pretty good. Thank you. Enjoy. It's time to get blabs with the lads. Things are getting crazy at Carnaby Street. <laughs> Paparazzi are already out. Oh dear me. Oh, is it not nice? Oh, it's a bit bitter. It's cola, cola and coffee. That's unpleasant. <laughs> I guess we wait here. We'll just slowly sip our Back into our room. <laughs> please, please, sir, just a peek. <laughs> Jokes on them, they haven't considered this. <laughs> Did you see it? Did you see it? I don't know, I'll have to watch the action replay. <laughs> Shall we join them? Right, we're just gonna go hang out with King Charles for a bit. We'll see you when we're back out. Off we go. Yeah, cheers guys. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> just thought we'd swing by uh, old Kingy's Palace. That's what we call him, Kingy. He's a uh, good mate. If you're watching this, Kingy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Can 
you've never seen it, have you? I don't think so. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's big. So I'm just going to pop in and buy a couple of bits. Huh? Come to Harrods to have a look, but it's got all scaffolded on it. Uh, Are we ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Really we were shopping. I've been to Harrods before, and I doubt I can afford anything in here, but I feel like while we're in London and while it's around Christmas, we should just have a little look. <laughs> stuff is like 120 pounds a kilo. It's pretty standard. <laughs> getting a deep stretch. <laughs> Our review of parents so far. The escalators are really fun. <laughs> oh. It looks like a character out of a PS1 game. <laughs> Those statues cost £37,000 and a man was coming over to tell Amy off for touching the little plaque that said the price. You know that the place has got fancy stuff when they've got a Ferrari on display and it's just in the corner. It's not even a centrepiece. Well, that's how it's done. It's about what I expected, it's just lots of shiny things and really big numbers. It's pretty cool just to see it though. We just got a taxi back from the station and we just told the taxi driver to drop us <laughs> off in this random field. And now we're having to walk through it to get back to the boat. <laughs> I wonder what he thinks though, because this is literally where we are. He's <laughs> like, anywhere here? And we were like, Anywhere here, mate. <laughs> See ya. Then we just sort of <laughs> vanished into the darkness. <laughs> um, um, sweet. Yeah, a lovely quiet spot. That worked out perfectly. We yeah. can still be in the middle of nowhere, but still go to London and go to the events, which is what we're so looking forward to this winter. Back home now on the boat and it's so cozy. We've had such an amazing day. It's been really nice. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Hit subscribe if you did enjoy because there's plenty more where this came from. Dupe says a big shout out to the Chip Pearls on Patreon. Check us out on our social media where we post loads of updates and exclusive videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Huge thank you to the Chips from Susan. And Mr. Stephen Smith. Thank you.